the leading brand of premium blending equipment preferred by top mixologists and renowned chefs around the world. Vitamix, plug into the movement. On this episode of Liquid Kitchen, I'm giving the dark and stormy a little twist with homemade apple ginger puree. I'm Kathy Casey and welcome to the Liquid Kitchen. I'm going to be making a Harvest Dark and Stormy. And first I'm gonna make some apple ginger puree. I have a couple of apples, one's already cut. I'm gonna add that to my pan. And I'm gonna cut up my second one. When I cut up my apple, I like to just go ahead and cut off the four sides of it. This is an easy way to get the core out. Cut it into small pieces. And then I'm going to add some fresh ginger. Okay, that's the last of our apple. Now this is a really fun trick to get the peel off of your ginger. So you can just go like this, removing the skin. All right. Really, really a fast way to do it. Now I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of fresh ginger. Just gonna, just gonna chop those up kind of coarse. Gonna add that into my pot as well. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna add a cup and a half of sugar and a cup and a half of water. I'm gonna turn my burner on and I'm going to bring it up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer and then cook it until the apples are tender. So our apples are nice and tender and we've cooled this mixture. Now we're gonna come over and pour it into our blender cup. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna blend it in my Vitamix, the quiet one blender on setting number five. So our apple ginger puree is all done. I'm going to measure in one ounce into my cocktail. Has a beautiful color from the skins of the apple. And then I'm gonna measure in an ounce and a half of really dark, lush rum. You can also use a spiced rum. And then I'm gonna measure in a half ounce of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna ice this up and give it a good shake. We're gonna pour this directly into our cocktail glass here. And then I'm going to top it with some ginger beer. About an ounce, ounce and a half. There we go. And I'm going to garnish it with a piece of candy ginger and a slice of fresh apple. And that's our Harvest Dark and Stormy.